Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. My name is Jerry Matiru. Thank you for choosing to be here. So today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you essential things that um, really helped me when, when I got my newborn. But before we get into the video, if you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit also the notification bell to be notified every time I put up a new video. Um, yeah, also like, share, and also remember to leave a comment for me, Palechini. Karibu. All right, so before we get into the video, the reason I chose to shoot this particular video is because being a new mom, I didn't know what exactly I was supposed to buy for my, for my baby. So my desire with this video is that it would educate a new mom or even a mom who is, who is wondering, okay, what do I buy for, for the baby I'm expecting? This video is for you. All right, so the first item is this onesie. Um, I can't remember where I got it actually, but I really loved this onesie when my baby was a newborn because of this fact that it has long sleeves. There's this other type of onesie that has short sleeves, but I opted for this. I use this actually the most because I had my baby during the cold season. So, you know, when, when, when you have a newborn, there's that fear that you're going to freeze your baby. So this... This actually gave me a lot of peace in my heart because I knew he has a good layer underneath the 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 thing, the romper that I was putting on top. And speaking of rompers, this is what I'm talking about. So this is a romper. It's it's um it's a heavier material than than the than the onesie, and it's kind of like how can I put it? How can I put it? Yeah, and it's just something you put on top on top of the onesie and it looks like this this one has um has also room for the baby to put his legs inside so there's no need for socks and i really love these ones because they are really warm they're cotton and they are really nice and they're also long sleeve so imagine you have the the onesie that's long sleeve and then you have the romper that's long sleeved i mean yeah it's really cool there's this other one this one this is also a, a romper but this one is warm, as you can tell. In a kanini, zile manyoya zambuzi, kind of like that. I don't know what that fabric is called, but this thing is really warm, and I really love this one because, like I've mentioned, I I had my baby during the cold season, so ningeweka um, a onesie. I would put a onesie on him, maybe even a vest on the inside, and then this on top, and there was no need to to add anything else and then the best part about it is the hood you know like just put it on top of the baby's head and there's no need for you know another coffee so this is a really good investment um prices i think this one was a thousand bob if i'm not wrong um the this other one this other one was wow can i remember i think around 700 if i'm not wrong and then now for each of these um onesies you can get three for around 1500 depending on where you where you shop for us we didn't want to shop in tumba for the first um three months so this ones we got them brand new from um what is this place called the task is the the mavazi mavazi yeah we got most of our stuff from mavazi yeah brand new yeah before i forget the other thing is 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 the the hat I, I didn't have many of these honestly because we had our baby during quarantine during covid time so we didn't we didn't get out of the house a lot so i only bought <laughs> one of these but whenever we got an opportunity to get out of the house this really helped because it it covered the baby's head yes 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 the other thing is this cute pants <laughs> um Again, I didn't use much of these because when you have the the romper that has that's a full romper, I didn't I didn't need many of these. So, but this if if you like this type of uh, pants, you can you can purchase this. This one is Mtumba. Um, 
but this one same thing a bit bigger though and also got this from Mavazi so uh, this one's mtumba you can get for around 200 or 150 depending on on kama unajua kubagid <laughs> yeah but um mavazi can i remember really but i think it's a bit pricey brand new clothes are a bit pricier than than tumba clothes yes then two socks how cute are these socks <laughs> wow um i got my first pair of socks from a store called kiki baby store on instagram i think maybe i can link their 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 instagram page somewhere there in the description box um it's a page that i really got actually many of the things that i'm going to mention today and yeah the socks are really nice they are cotton um yeah and they're really cute what can i say the other item is this crib sheet it's actually really big um let me show you Yeah, it's actually really big and um yeah, you can use it as a crib sheet, but for us we used it as as something to wrap the baby. You know, we we saw on YouTube that it's actually good when you wrap your baby because it it mimics the womb so they feel comforted. So this is what we used to wrap our baby even when we were getting out of hospital, this is what we used. Um this shawl this shawl right here it's actually pretty pretty warm we also use this to cover our baby from from the cold as i as i've mentioned newborns we really need to protect them from 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 the cold so this is this is something that really helped us it's really big actually and we also used it to to put it on his on his bassinet i'll show you that a bit later um yeah so i think most of these things like this crib sheet especially you can use it for different things you don't use it you don't have to use it necessarily to to put it in the bassinet or in the crib you can even use it as um as um i've used it before as a what how can i like when i'm breastfeeding in public when 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 i went to the clinic when i when i used to go to the clinic i still do but when my baby was much younger and i needed to breastfeed noja ninge to mia evil and i cover my baby and my baby is able to breastfeed to breastfeed well if i'm in public also and my baby um i need to burp my baby najiwekelea tu you know so that you know when there's that speed up it doesn't um get onto your clothes so these things you can use them for for different purposes let's talk about feeding so i i breastfed my baby i know there are moms who who are not able to breastfeed their babies but for me i i was able to breastfeed my baby however um i wanted to begin pumping as early as possible because um from the research i did pumping really helps with your milk supply to keep the to keep the milk supply up and also to increase your milk supply so this this is a is a is a manual pump there are different kinds of pumps there are automatic pumps and there are they called automatic or electric i'm not sure but kuna hiyo kind and then there's this manual pump the reason it's manual is because you have to this you have to manually um pump milk out of your breast so you you put your breast over here i'm not a lactation consul consultant <laughs> but yeah so you put your, your 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 breast over here and then the milk the milk um fills up in this in this bottle there are different kinds of bottles different um uh capacities this one is a 125 ml bottle for a newborn this one is actually is actually really good cuz newborns don't really um take a lot of milk at a go so this one really this one really helped us um the cost of this this one was actually a gift from from someone um an ad, advent is it called advent or advent an advent pump um i think it costs around 5000 bob it's really expensive so i don't know i think the 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 electric pump could be around 15000 i don't know so but this one really it was really good of course there's that the the, the it's really it, it puts pressure on your arm when you're pumping cuz nika nika tizi hapa hivi but i think i got used to it so this really this really helped the other thing is there's this thing These are some of the things I didn't know about. <laughs> and this is called a bath cloth. So, like I mentioned before, 
you can put it over here when you after you've breastfed your baby or, or fed your baby however however we, once the baby is feed there's usually some spit up that that comes so you put this right here just to catch whatever whatever spit up will come from your baby um, during that time after he burps however would i say this is really important or essential mm, i don't know i don't know i think it's something that i i thought would be important but i don't know if it was really that important because there's there's a creep sheet that i talked about you can use you can use different things for this for this um for this purpose all right then there's this wonderful wonderful thing i don't know how to hold it guy me i love this thing what this is a in it one a boppy a boppy pillow so this thing how you use it i don't know if you will be able to see but you put it like this and then and then you know you hold your baby right here so this thing helps when you're breastfeeding your baby it helps you position your baby well so you position that pillow right here and then your baby over here and then you have a nice breastfeeding session i use this thing till date my baby is big <laughs> but i really love this thing because it helps position the baby the way you want you know yeah so this is a really good investment please 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 tafuta this thing i don't i can't remember how much it was but i think it was a it was a bit pricey i can't remember honestly i can't remember yeah i also got this from mavazi all right let me talk about now changing the obvious thing when we talk about changing is is diapers so um what you need to know is the the different sizes for diapers there's 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 newborn then also i think they 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 categorize them in terms of of kgs so i think also the, the diapers for, for premature babies if i'm not wrong so you can just go to the supermarket and look very carefully so yeah yeah look very carefully and find one that will work for you for us we we opted to go for let me just mention Huggies. There's they have this 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 to pamper to not to pampers guy pampers me brand they have these diapers that have a streak so that when your baby poops or pees the the streak turns a different color well i would not recommend because okay you know we didn't know how you know if a baby has peed or anything at that point so the, it worked well in the initial stages but those diapers are very expensive but once our baby grew a bit bigger we realized that if the diaper is wet the weight the weight of the diaper changes so we we, we didn't have to you know to use those expensive um types anymore so yeah that's what we use even to date just the normal ones you know you can tell if the baby has has peed because the weight the weight changes then we have the the wipes so this is a brand that we've used ever since my baby was born we, we've not had an issue with this with this brand um it says that it has zero percent alcohol it's also great for hands and faces and i can i can i have a testimony like i can testify that this wipes have never affected our baby and he has sensitive skin so yeah we are okay with this wipes the only thing the only issue we had with them is that wipes are really cold and i saw that there there are places that sell wipe warmers like you just you put your wipes in a kawoma in a kawoma thing that warms your wipes when you when you're wiping your baby's bum but now we didn't have money for you know for such things so what we used to do is let me just show you with one <laughs> So what we used to do is we used to pick the wipe like that and then warm it with our hands kidogo you know so that the baby doesn't feel cold and then you know you wipe him quickly so that he doesn't feel cold so you don't have to buy expensive things you know god has given you warmth <laughs> so you can do that you can use that okay the other thing is this it's called a i think it's marking torch if i'm not wrong this thing let me tell you you have to buy this thing because this thing has been such a lifesaver when our baby has had poop explosions you know babies can poop mbaka inafika huku huku kwa shingo unashindwa kwani kwani what were you doing <laughs> you know kwani what were you doing yani poop 
now when you're removing those clothes this thing is very important because you put your baby over here and this this material does not absorb anything so you change your baby and then you can wipe it off with the wipes after that so that you you reduce the mess you know and you reduce um spreading of 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 the mess to other surfaces yeah so this i highly recommend and they're not they're not expensive and you'll use this for for a really long time i think even if i have another baby mungu akinibariki he bado not to me because it's really lasted us a long time yes before i forget there are these um hand paper towels what we use this for is um when the baby has has a poop explosion you know wipes are really expensive i can't remember how much wipes are but maybe i'll, I'll put the the price somewhere here so instead of using so many wipes this is what we would use we still use them till now to <laughs> how can i put it in a, in a in a in a nice way to reduce the mess you know and then now we use the wipes to wipe down now the baby to clean him up so that he feels fresh you know but but don't use don't use this directly you know on your baby's skin because the baby the baby's skin is a bit sensitive and this might not be necessarily soft enough but we use this in the initial stages just to clean him up kidogo kidogo too and then now the wipe the wipes we used it now to clean it, clean him clean him up completely okay let's move on to bathing your baby the first thing i will talk about is this washcloth i think it's called mine is really old because i've used it since my baby was born um yeah but you can get this this washcloths anywhere and you don't have to buy you know expensive ones you can get just a, a, like a soft fabric like this that you can use to to wash your baby's face your baby's hair your baby's body you know something really soft make sure it's soft so that um it doesn't so that it's not rough on your baby's skin yeah so these ones i got i got a pair not a pair i got a box of i think there were five or something like that still at mavazi and I, I honestly can't remember how much they were but they were not that expensive so you can invest in in a couple of these because they're really really helpful and they're really light and soft the other thing is this hooded towel guys i really love this towel my, my son uses this towel till date he's a bit big I had to shake Abisa but I still use it and I love it because of this particular reason this hood like after you wash your baby unamwekele unamweka kichwa ndani and then you wrap him baridi hazi iskia baridi at that point so I really love this this hooded towel I got this from from Kiki Baby Store on Instagram um yeah the details will be will be down below I sorry I bought two of these yeah and I think two 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 are enough yeah The other thing is um this um hey I don't know how to call it but la roche posée <laughs> This um this is a um a, a moisturizer imeandikwa triple action balm anti scratching anti dry skin flare ups immediate soothing Um our our pediatrician actually is one who recommended this this um moisturizer for our baby because he has dry skin and then at the at, at that point he was really having a breakout of of rashes so our um, our pediatrician recommended this particular um moisturizer and we've used it ever since it works for our baby he it helps him even when he's having flare ups like it's mentioned it helps with dry skin and flare ups even for me when i'm having allergies sometimes i use this when i'm having those you know um flare up flare ups as well and it helps you know just soothe the skin so we use this alongside vaseline you know just a normal baby baby vaseline so this i would i would recommend if your baby has sensitive skin and it's it's odorless you know so yeah the last thing is this um grooming kit i didn't think this thing was important but it is really important this is also a vent and um let me just open it up so that we can see what's inside here sorry guys my my stuff zimezeeka but <laughs> yeah you will i'll just show you for purpose of demonstration 
So it has, um, there's some stuff that, that are missing, but oh well. So this is a comb, this is a brush for the hair. And then we have this thing, nose, I don't know what it's called, nose something. But it's, you put it inside your baby's nose and then it just sucks the mucus when he's having a, a stuffed nose. This we've used a couple of times actually and it really helps. Um, then there's this scissors, I've never known what, what it's for. So moving on, there's a nail cutter, it's really small and nice. So it's able to, you're able to, you know, to get those tiny, you know, a baby has to tiny nails. So this nail cutter is really nice. And then this, um, um, what is it called? Thermometer. Really nice. I, however, I wish, I wish, I wish I knew I would have bought, um, the one that we, that security guys use these days in the supermarkets to check your temperature i would have bought that because sometimes i feel like this this can be a bit inaccurate but it served the purpose you know after after getting vaccinations and stuff like that sometimes the baby can get a fever this really helped us but i wish i wish i had that that instant one um yeah the uh, the stuff that is missing from here is there's a there's another thing plastic or silicone thing that you can put your finger and just brush your baby's teeth or, or soothe his gums and then there's a nail file just to file your your baby's nails after you've cut his nails so that he doesn't he or she doesn't you know scratch have those sharp edges on his nails the last thing is um this basin now there there are many there i think there are different there are different types and the different sizes of this basin but what we opted for this particular this is actually a bigger size they're, they're smaller sizes so we opted for this basin size so that even as our baby grows you know the 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 basin does not become too small so yeah this basin we got it from biashara street actually guys biashara street is actually a very good place to go if you're looking for baby stuff you know you can get into one of those shops any of those shops you can get into any of those shops and shop for everything that you need nazita kwa zote hapo i can guarantee you so this one we got it from from biashara street i can't honestly remember how much it was but it has served us till date my, my son has actually used it this evening to to shower to bathe rather so i highly recommend highly recommend now let's talk about sleeping different mothers do different um things concerning sleeping there are, there are mothers who sleep with their babies in the same bed um there are mothers who put their babies in a totally different room but for us we wanted our baby close to us you know being being first time parents we really wanted our baby close to us so we we scouted for for different um um sleeping arrangements and this is what we we opted to go for so this is this is a a, a bassinet um the thing we liked about it is the fact that one it has this covering that you can see which is like a, a net a mosquito net you know there's this other one that is called a moses basket that one i didn't really like it because haina haina this feature this feature of this net so i really liked the fact that it has this net the other thing is um it comes with a mattress that you can see inside there so when you buy the 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 bassinet you're given a complimentary matches um the other thing is this this pouch underneath this is where now we used to put his diapers his wipes his 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 hand towels and any other thing that we may need during the night when changing him and all that even sometimes I used to put my pump over there so that i don't have to walk all the way to the kitchen to get my pump in the middle of the night the the last thing is now the the wheels as you can see it has it has four wheels and it was really good because you, you as in you can move it around it's not stationary you can move it around and then the other thing is that it can turn into a rocking a rocking bed <laughs> so to speak so i yeah we really loved it actually our baby used this till he was a, around seven to eight months i know that that was we really pushed it but we really love this thing we got it from biashara street for about six thousand five hundred, I think. Yeah, but for, I, I personally, I think that, that that was a deal, considering how 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 much this thing has served us. So, yeah, we really love it. 
all right thank you for watching thank you for tuning in i hope that this video has been helpful if you're a new mom or um you're yet to become a new mom i hope that this video will help you to to know where to start you know the issue for me was where do i start so this is a good place to start there are many more things that you could buy another thing is that um you can just do you if you if you want to buy your baby stuff from lcy kiki buy from lcy kiki if you want to go to toy market i also shopped at toy market actually go to toy market if you want to go to gikomba go to gikomba at the end of the day the most important thing is that your baby is clothed so thank you so much for watching may god bless you if you're a new mom and remember you're doing well mama You know, most of these things actually you can you don't have to use them for what for for the purpose that they were made for you can you can use them for multi multi purposes you can use them for multi purpose <laughs> you can use them multi purposedly <laughs>